So one of the other features that you can use in Triggy that is a little bit less well understood is that since you have a serial connection between the experimental control computer and the Triggy device, again, that serial connection is this smaller USB cable marked USB serial on the bottom. Uh, that serial connection is bi-directional. So you can, of course, receive information in your computer from Triggy, but you can also send information from the experimental control computer to the device. And another video, we talked about the D out mode. That's one way you could use that uh, direction from the computer to the device to send a port code that you want to send, let's say from your stimulus or experimental control software to Triggy and then out its TTL output port. To demonstrate how this command uh, pathway between the serial port on your experimental control computer and the Triggy device works, uh, I'm just going to show you in the user manual first where to find the information. So in the Triggy user manual, if you go to the table of contents, the, one of the last entries here in the table of contents is this uh, table of commands and the command reference. If I go to that section, you'll see there's a, a table of commands that shows you all the command options and then a reference on how to use those commands. So one example would be to send a command to enable or disable the backlight on the display uh, uh, or to reboot the system is another example. Um, some of these other command strings, if you, if you look at uh, how long this is, there's a lot of information there uh, and it would be hard to create that string, but it is possible to ask the system to send you a string that describes the current configuration. So um, we can ask Triggy to send back a string that looks like this, then we can edit it and send it back. So let's just take a, uh, a simple example. Let's just take that uh, example uh, to, to tell to ask the system to send us the current system configuration. Let's go down to return. Return settings. So there's return settings for the system or return settings for a channel. Um, let's take the system uh, example. RS. So I can send that command using a terminal program. So I'm just going to open PuTTY, which is just a, a terminal communication program. And uh, with PuTTY, I can open the, the Triggy configuration, which I described before. And you'll see that I get the, the text Triggy because it knows it's communicating with Triggy. And on the Triggy device, you see that the screen is reconfiguring. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just on the keyboard of this computer, enter RS and you'll see that it returns the current settings. So the, the current settings, for example, uh, include the, the threshold for the first channel, 34.38. So if I wanted to change that threshold, um, for example, if I set it below, since that's an audio channel, the first channel is set up for audio. If I set that, that threshold below 33.3, .3, this LED will illuminate. So let's just try sending it uh, a com command string that will set the threshold below uh, the minimum, uh, in other words, low enough that the trigger is set on. So let's look for a threshold. All right, so I can set the threshold with this command. Uh, configure threshold, and then the in is to, to not set it as the default on channel one. And this number 
this float is the threshold that I'm setting. So let's try that. So I'll say CTN channel one, 33.0. And you'll see that the LED on that channel goes high, uh, meaning the output bit connected to that is up. It's at, at max. And if I want to change that, I'm going to go back and say CTN channel one, 33 point nine, for example. And now the threshold is set to 34. Effectively, that's the way it's interpreted. And the, the LED goes off. So that's an example of how you can send commands to Trigi. Uh, another way to do it would be in, um, in your experimental control software, for example, uh, that same kind of command I start presentation. Presentation has a nice option and your software may have this as well, depending on what you're using, to set some default strings to be sent to a port as an init sequence. So that uh, same sort of command string, ctn comma one comma 33.4 or 33.6 could be entered here as an initialization sequence so that when the experiment begins, it sends that to Triggy uh, and that channel will be configured as you desire. You can also send a whole string that configures the whole system for whatever your purpose is.